Hey everyone, Nuno here and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be talking about tourism on city skylines and the pros and cons of it. So this video is going to be mostly a beginner's guide and if you understand how tourism works in this game, I'm sure you'll be able to implement it on your towns on your own way. But before we start this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that you know whenever I upload new content. Like in real life, tourists will visit your city if it is attractive and of course that means if you have monuments, unique buildings, activities and leisure, uh, let's say parks, a good public transport system and of course shops, your tourists will want to spend money on your city. Overall in the game or, or overall in this specific game, tourism numbers are going to be decided by how attractive your city is and that value is going to be raised by basically the land value and the monuments. Regarding land value, you can check out a video I did uh, before about it, how to raise it and uh, I'm gonna leave a link right now here in a card and of course in the description down below. Tourists will enter your city to different transport types. In the beginning, it will be by car, in the highways, uh, but then when you unlock boats, trains and planes, they will use them to visit your city, having in mind that planes are probably the transport system that they will use the most, or at least with more numbers. But the question remains, why would you want tourists? What are the pros and cons of having them? Tourists will spend money on your public transport system using buses, subways, monorails, trams and even local trains, but they will also spend money on your commercial districts. They want to buy souvenirs, they want to eat on restaurants, they want to spend the night on hotels, so it's not a bad idea to have also tourist, uh, tourism specialization areas or districts for it. Overall, the main pro is that they are a good source of tax income and therefore your taxes for commercial districts and of course for public transport revenues will increase. On the downside, and of course it cannot always be good stuff, on the downside there, there will be creating a lot more traffic and if you don't have a good public transport system then you'll have problems because large amount of tourists can also create traffic jams if they are using their own cars instead of the public system or the public transport that you have in your city. Also, in the tourism specialization areas or districts, they will produce more noise and pollution. So, yeah, you need to have that in mind. And that's basically it, guys. That's the basic stuff. And as you can see, it's not as different from real life as you would think about. Now that you know the basics, you can definitely start building your city having in mind that tourists are going to be a very important source of income in the future. So there, there it is. Build parks, uh, monuments, unique buildings to attract tourists and increase your land value. Don't forget to uh, work on your public transport system. That means increase your road capacity if that is the case early on. Create a better uh, system of or a better network for transportation over there, you know, with trams, with trains, with uh, subways, with bus lines, monorails, whatever you need to have, you know, the uh, income, the source flow, you know, the, the, the people, the tourists, the flow to be moving and not creating jams. Either way, guys. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you guys will not lose any new uploads and content that I will bring to the channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and tell me what are your thoughts regarding tourism on city skylines. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.